It's a little alarming when there's like tons of houses evacuated. Yeah, they might be evacuating our house. Let's do this. Day two, Braley. Day two. You're putting on your sandals, but we're gonna switch to shoes when we get there, okay? Braley, are you so determined to wear those shoes? Are you so determined to wear those? It appears to be a one-year-old bear. If you see it, report it to DNR yeah, using this link. Do me. not engage with or feed the bear. Yeah, <laughs> Residences should remove bird feeders or food in your yards. Please use caution if you are outside and in the city parks. We're gonna go and see if we can find a bear. Safely. Braley has actually become too big for a car seat. <laughs> And so we are switching our hybrid car seat into a booster, which means we anchor it and use it a lap belt. Yeah. So we'll see. We'll see. Yep. Here we go. Put this all the way around. Yep. She won't be able to reach it, though. We're going to have to buckle her again. This goes under here. This, this arm goes up here. <laughs> this arm goes like this. Look at you! You're a big girl! Yep, big girl. What do you think? How do you feel about this? Is it different? You use the lab belt in the school bus, Braley, so that's not too different, is it? Yep. Except this one has a chest, too. Yep, and the, these, the straps won't dig into your neck anymore. Yeah. It's a little more comfortable, right? Our little girl's growing up. Yep. She no longer uses a car seat. Mm -hmm. Now it's a booster. Yep. Huggity. <laughs> I don't know how she feels about it. I don't know yet. Huggity. Hey, Braley. I love you. I love you. Say, big girl. Big girl. Yep, that's you. Big girl. Huggity. So there's a confirmed bear sighting in our area. We were just gonna go walk along the Mississippi River today. First, before we do that, I think we're gonna go and uh, take a gander. We won't get out of the car, don't worry. Do we have to get a lock for you? Because I think you can buy locks, right? Yeah. Like childproof ones. I just said, hey you, and she said, did you hear it? Yeah. She said, hey you. This is unsafe. I didn't realize that this is gonna be a Sit back. issue. Okay. I didn't know that she could reach it because it's so far over here. Yeah. Hey. The one thing with the, the actual back, car seat I did do, I did do, I did okay. is that it was hard Arms for up. her. I mean, because she couldn't mini. unbunkle. The, unbunkle? Unbunkle most of it. Why do you keep saying bunkle? <laughs> she couldn't unbuckle most of it before. <laughs> Can you say the word buckle? Unbuckle? <laughs> Unbuckle there. <laughs> I like the way I say it better. Un unbuckle. It just cracks me up. Hey. You have to stay buckled, okay? No unbuckling, okay? Um, I think that we need to do that sooner than later. We're gonna ask our vlog squad uh, what they use because I know they. I've seen them use it. Yeah. Get a good suggestion from them. I'm sure we could also go back, and I think you mentioned, I remember mentioning it in the video. Probably. But it's easier just to ask him. <laughs> Vlog squad up. All right, let's go. We have a lot of place to play, B. Good job, Braley. It's okay. She's, she went. Do you want to go to the bridge and look at the water? Let's walk. Let's see. You have to walk. Eight. Good okay. job, B. I'm with you. It'll be okay. It's not loud. Like, it's mostly nature sounds besides whatever that is. But it's not that loud, but you can tell she's anxious because she plugs her ears. 
When it's sound related, it's typically full hands. And when it's anxiety, it's usually single finger. We didn't find the bear and we went to an area where there is no bear sighting to walk around. <laughs> Just so you guys know. We're good. I mean, there could be bears anywhere, but who knows, maybe it traveled over here. Go see your mom. Go see mom. Come see. Go step real careful. Her arms are shaking. It's she, okay, It's a Brie. very small shake. She's smiling though. I know, it's a very small shake, but you can tell that she's, do you see it? It'll be okay. See? We're, we're, we won't let you fall in. <laughs> She's shaking. Is she can you, giggling can though? you see it in camera? I don't know. Is she giggling though? She's. She, <laughs> <laughs> That's a river. Do you want to stay? She wants down? No, she's oh, she scared. Doesn't. Look. Can you stand right here? Look, look. Yeah. Hold my hand. Hold my hand, okay? You can test it. You want to test it? Her heart's beating pretty fast. Test it. Oh, no, <laughs> we're not gonna stand on that rock. <laughs> she's nervous, but she's still a daredevil. Yep. Yeah. Do you see the bubbles in the water? Bubbles, that's right. Yeah, I bet that water is so cold. Come here! Good job! Good job, I'm so proud of you! You trying to go back down there? Oh my gosh! Oh my gosh! Hey, she's happy. It feels so good just sitting in the water with your feet just in that cold river water. So peaceful, huh? Got scared for a little bit. So we're going home, 
You know, we don't live in a very populated area. It's a little alarming when there's like tons of... Evacuated. Yeah, they might be evacuating our house. That's why they had so it's... many police cars so they could evacuate a bunch. Yeah, they're like it sounds like something major is going down in our neighborhood, and it, it sounds like we have. I mean, whenever something goes down, of course we turn on police scanner so we can see what's here. What's we're going nosy, on? Okay. We're a little nosy because the sirens are close by, and we're like, "What's going on?" And um, turns out, well, it sounds like we don't know for sure, but it sounds like um, there's a gas leak in our neighborhood. And it sounds like they're evacuating, oh. evacuating houses close to us. It's a little, little nerve-wracking, but they haven't knocked on our door. Those gas leaks are scary. So yeah, a gas line was apparently struck in our neighborhood, but we'll be safe. Sounds like they're they're getting uh, the gas company out there to uh, fix the line, to fix the gas problem. Can't see from our house because of the trees. The the road kind of bends, so there's no way to see what's actually going down down the street. It's probably not safe to go and check it out. The statement does say to stay out of the area, so we're not gonna go look at it. We'll just uh, hope that it can be taken care of and we won't have to leave our home. Time to move on with the day. We really did have fun time today. Braley at the park, like, she did have her moments for sure of where she was nervous about being there, but she, she thoroughly enjoyed sitting next to the river. It's gonna be her new, like, favorite hangout spot for now. It was just a fun little area. Nothing nothing came out of it. I think someone just struck it while digging. Nothing caught on fire, nothing nothing really bad happened, and all it takes is a little spark and oof. Can you say bye everybody? Bye, Grandma. Grandma? <laughs>